Peeping Tom is a frightening experience. It's also a thrilling one because it gets close, very close to the, to the heart of the impulse deep within filmmaking. I mean, to make films, to make images and stories from those images, other imagined worlds, really, it's exciting and intoxicating, which means that it can get a grip on you, and unless you're very careful, it won't let you go. Imagine. Someone coming towards you who wants to kill you, regardless of consequences. When someone agrees to appear on camera, whether it's in a fiction film or a documentary, we shouldn't forget that they're giving something very special of themselves. This is what Michael Powell captured in Peeping Tom. Powell dared what no one else had dared before him, to show us how close movie making could come to madness, how it could eat you up. He was telling an extremely uncomfortable truth, something that nobody really wanted to know, on, on top of what she was doing it in a spectacular Lourdesman color, images that almost recall the covers of porno magazines. Michael was always showing us how necessary art is and how far it can drive you in your passions. And he was also showing that it could consume you if you weren't careful. In a sense, a Peeping Tom was his last word on the matter. It's also one of his greatest films. Look out! Look out! Look out! Uh -huh.